Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at using the secrets.yaml file to remove sensitive information from your configuration file. Okay, before we go ahead and dive into this uh, video, uh, I'd just like to do a bit of a shameless plug for subscribers. Uh, the channel currently has 29 subscribers um, and we've had quite a lot of views, about 1500 views to the channel. Uh, subscriptions really help uh, a channel, especially like myself who's just starting off uh, on YouTube. You know, it kind of lets me know that you're interested in the content that I'm putting out and it helps uh, a lot. So if you can go ahead and subscribe, it is really appreciated. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I suppose the first question is, why would you want to store secrets in Home Assistant? Let's uh, jump over to the configuration.yaml file and have a look. So again, I'll be using Notepad++ to edit all the files in this video. If you've never used Notepad++ before, it's well worth a look and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Okay, so here in the configuration.yaml file, under these black boxes that I've put on top of this image are passwords and API keys that I don't want to make public. This can make it a bit tricky when I'm making videos, but also it's quite common for users of Home Assistant to put copies of their configuration.yaml file into forums to ask for assistance. Obviously, you don't want to do that when your passwords and API keys and email addresses and so on uh, can be seen by anyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the secrets.yaml file to store these passwords so the configuration file can be shared safely. So within your Home Assistant configuration file, you'll also find a secrets.yaml file. We're going to go ahead and open that up along with our configuration.yaml file. Another reason why using a secrets file is quite handy is it makes it a lot easier to change your passwords, email addresses, and API keys for the entities that you use. So our configuration.yaml file is quite small at the moment, but it will grow quite a lot in the future. And it's easier to find passwords and so on in the secrets.yaml folder than scrolling through a configuration to try and find things. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at how we configure this. So what I'm going to do is on my Hive setup, I'm going to delete my username and password out of here and then I can remove this black box so you can see what I'm typing underneath. Okay, so what we need to do here in our configuration file is we need to start with an exclamation mark and then secret. This tells Home Assistant that it'll find the username in the secrets.yaml file. So then we need to give our um, username here a, a, a reference. So what I'm going to do here is just go email. I'm actually going to call it email1 because I have changed my email address recently and depending on how long ago I've set up these entities I might have used a different email address so I'm going to go ahead and call this one email1. And then we're going to go down to password and we're going to do the same with exclamation mark and secret. And this one we're going to call hive underscore password. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click save. Then we can go over to our secrets.yaml file. And we need to remember what we've called these these passwords, the, the reference that we've put. So this first one is email1. So we can jump over to here and go email1. And then in this file here, we're going to put what that username is, what that um, 
email address is. So I am going to have to go ahead and blur this bit out. Yeah, like so. And then we're going to do the same for hive underscore password. So come back over to secrets, hive underscore password. And then go ahead and put a password in there. And we can click save on our secrets folder. Okay, so now I can show you this bit of my configuration file without you seeing the username and passwords. So next, let's do the same for our weather reporting. This is dark sky, and for dark sky, you might have seen my previous video, I'll leave a card up for that now. You do need to have an API key. So let's go ahead and take out. Now, what I might do first is do the secrets part first because then I can just copy and paste the API key across. So I'm just going to call this one dark sky. So we'll just go dark underscore sky. And then I can go ahead and copy or cut this rather and paste it over into my secrets folder. And then here I can go exclamation mark secrets or just secret not not secret secret space and we call the dark underscore sky okay and that should be up and running so we'll go ahead and click save on this and head back over to home assistant we'll go to our configuration in general and we'll check uh, we'll validate our configuration because we've made some changes and here we can see we've got a problem so let me go and figure that out what that is and I'll come back to you okay guys so I have figured out my error here um, configuration.yaml files can be quite sensitive to how, how things are spaced um, so for example here you can see that there was an example here of some password and then each thing underneath it has come in one space um, now you can see, uh, if we go over to configuration.yaml, we can look at our device tracking here. You can see that things kind of flow, which means that everything under device tracking that's spaced in has to do with the device tracking. And then when we come down to Hive, that starts right at the start of the file, which is saying, you know, we're finished with device tracking and we're starting here at Hive. So everything that's indented here is to do with Hive. If we look at our secrets folder, I've done that by mistake here. So I've gone from some password, which is the example, and then we've indented in a little bit here. So it thinks that everything under here is to do with this some password and the secrets file doesn't work like that. So to fix this, what I'm going to do is just delete the example and then make sure that everything here is over as far to the left as it can be. We'll go ahead and click save go back and this time when we check our configuration we can see our configuration is valid so now we can go ahead and restart home assistant so i'll go ahead and restart it and we'll come back once it's rebooted okay uh, now home assistant has restarted we'll go and head over to the overview page and we can see that well nothing's really changed but that's a good thing. Uh, we're getting the information from a Hive account as well as from Dark Sky, which means that Home Assistant is able to read those passwords and API keys that we've now got stored in the secrets.yaml file. So we can call that one a success and we can repeat this for as many times as we need uh, for anything that we've got stored in our configuration file that we don't want to make public. So now we've done that, I can now share my configuration.yaml file with, with you guys without any sensitive information being in there. So I hope you found that video uh, useful. And if you have, please, as I said in the beginning, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also consider liking and commenting. And thanks for watching.